peaceful minister, the future of the state, the dynamic minister, distinguished guests, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, I extend to you a very, very warm welcome to this very special occasion when we are going to inaugurate this very special hotel, ITC Kohinoor, at the hands of the Honorable Minister. It is a privilege, Mr. Minister, that you have chosen to be present here today, and we are honored. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been most impressed that in a short time that this state has been formed of just over four years, the spectacular progress that has been made by the state of Telangana under the leadership of Shri K. Chandrasekhar Raoji. I have been watching the various indices that have been given out of progress. And it is amazing that such progress is made possible for a fledgling state in such a short period of time. It's a tribute to the dynamic leadership of the Chief Minister, assisted by our his son, the youthful minister, that this has been made possible. There are some very special indices of performance that sets this state apart among many states in India and has become an exemplar. How this has happened? In my view, it is because of a number of far-reaching and far-sighted schemes that the Chief Minister has set into motion. Some of these schemes I would like to mention here today, like Mission Kakatiya, restoration of 46,000 tanks. Mission Bhagirtha, it takes 1.3 kilometers of pipeline to deliver water to towns and villages. The Empowerment Program for the Farmers, Rai to Bandhu, the Asra Pension Program for the Poor and the Housing Program for the Poor, Harita Haram, the Greening Program in the state, looking at the environmental progress that the Chief Minister has been able to unleash. And I am most impressed that the state is today number one in solar power. Would you join me in giving a big hand to this spectacular achievement? Now, the per capita incomes that are on the rise undoubtedly would trigger a virtuous cycle of development. You know, ladies and gentlemen, that whenever, wherever there are incomes that rise, private capital rushes in there. So it is not before long, Mr. Minister, we will see a lot of private capital rushing into the state, setting in motion a virtuous cycle of development. And I wish the state all the very best and let it become an even more prominent uh, exemplar state for India. Taking advantage of the distinguished gathering, I would be remiss if I didn't speak to you about ITC, ITC's vision, the transformation that ITC has undergone over the last couple of decades, and what it sp stands for. Many years ago, we decided that ITC would be an engine of economic growth for the Indian society, and it will make a growing and larger contribution to the Indian economy, as a result of which we set into motion 
a number of drivers of growth, what we call multiple drivers of growth. So a company that was a cigarette company has today become a multi-business organization. We are now in paper boards, packaging, we are in agribusinesses, we are in food processing and branded foods uh, business and a personal care business and a home care business. We are in information technology and you know we are in the hotels business. The extent of this transformation can be gauged by the fact that 80% of our operating assets today, mark my words, 80% of the operating assets of ITC today are engaged in non-cigarette business. What's more, 90% of the human resource of ITC is engaged in non-cigarette business. So this transformation is going on. Not only this, we decided that we are going to measure ourselves along triple bottom line. It is not good enough to merely demonstrate financial performance. As you know, India is 30% of world's poor live in India. 17% of global population has only 4% of forest resource and only 1% of freshwater resource. So therefore, to make progress sustainable, environmental and social contribution is extremely important. So we set ourselves an objective that we would not be satisfied alone with economic performance, but that we would create business models that would synergize economic performance of ITC with that of ecological asset formation and social asset formation. As a result of which, I want to tell you that ITC, and I'm very proud to be able to say this, and I, Minister, I hope you don't mind my taking a little leave of modesty, because I wouldn't get another audience of this standing uh, in a hurry that is captive to me today. We are, ITC, is the only company in the world which is water positive, carbon positive, waste recycling positive, and which has got six million people that derive their livelihood from their interdependence with companies' businesses. <laughs> What's more, ITC sequesters twice the amount of carbon and creates freshwater resource twice the amount of freshwater resource than what is consumed, even though we are in a water-guzzling paper business. So we are an exemplar of that kind. And that is why sustainability is really a credo that, that, that we have. And we have set ourselves this, this value that ITC is going to keep the country before the corporation and the institution ahead of the individual. What's more, ITC's hotels are all green hotels. This is the only chain in the world where all hotels are green hotels. And they are lead platinum rated at the highest level. Even in the United States of America, there is no such parallel <coughs> like this. And India can be proud as we are proud of this particular uh, achievement. So ladies and gentlemen, today we have all assembled here. We will have a, a short audiovisual after I have uh, spoken that will tell you 
ITC's presence in the state of Telangana and what it does. But before we do that, I want to speak to you about this hotel. This hotel, we bought this land in 2007. It was 11 years ago. So sometimes, not sometimes, when you are in India, when we make an investment, we don't think of our own tenures. We think of the future, 10 years, 20 years from now. And we are happy that we bought this, part, this land. At that time, 135 crores. Now, if you add interest for 11 years, uh, it is going to be a huge amount. But we are still very happy because this is the jewel in the crown of the state of Telangana, its tourism, it's, it's going to add to its business potential. This Cyberabad, the IT city, is going to be flourishing because when people come in, they will stay in this very special hotel which has got exquisite services. In hotels, we have a, a very special way of building hotels. We don't build matchboxes that can be anywhere in the world. We derive, the, the, each hotel derives its inspiration from the soil where it is located. It derives its inspiration from the cultural heritage of that location. Its architectural design, its interiors, all are woven into the hotel's design, its uh, food and beverages, and its services, all are inspired by the very best multifaceted cultural heritage of that location. So you will find the same thing in this jewel in the crown of the state of Telangana, the lovely city of, of Hyderabad, and the minister has contributed greatly to the dynamism of the city and it is growing very rapidly and we can all be proud of this brand Hyderabad. So ladies and gentlemen, without much ado, having you thank you very much for patiently listening to me, the swan song of ITC, uh, which I did not want to miss out on and communicate to you what ITC stands for. So now there will be an audio visual. And after that, we will request the minister to then inaugurate this very special hotel for us. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Paratharalga Chapatlu Kortu Marokasari, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it. Welcome to ITC Kohino, the glory of our land. It's perfect. Oh, mana Hyderabad nagarani ki marak ka moola maina ratnam ITC Kohinoor. Thank you, sir. Chairman of uh, ITC, Sri Sanjeev Puri ji, Mr. Nakul Anand, and to the distinguished gathering, sir. Uh, after you've spoken with such eloquence and, uh, you know, you've had so many kind words and generous remarks for us. Now to speak after you, to follow up after you, is like uh, going into bat after Virat Kohli. So, I really don't know what to say. I'm, I'm totally at a loss for words. But you've been extremely kind, extremely generous with your remarks. Thank you so much and extremely generous uh, with your blessings as well for the state of Telangana. Love to, uh, you know, um, Acknowledge the fact that uh, you've come through on your promise of making significant investments in the state of Telangana. During the unveiling of our industrial policy, the TSI pass, Mr. Deveshwar was the chief guest from the industry and he'd made a promise that ITC will aid in the growth of uh, the newly formed state of Telangana by way of significant investments. Today, I think I'll have to share with you that uh, not only has he kept his promise, but he's also endorsed us on numerous occasions across uh, various business forums within India and abroad as well that this new state 
is most certainly a dynamic state. And today, once again, sir, thank you very much uh, for uh, you know such high praise and such generous remarks. ITC in the last four years, as sir has pointed out, has uh, brought in investments into expansion of its uh, uh, paper mill in Badrachalam. Also has invested in agro industries and also the food processing sector. A significant investment has been made in Telangana. And also I know you've grown your retail business and the hotels business as well has also grown significantly. And sir, uh, as you pointed out, much before Telangana was formed, I think it has been philosophy of ITC to be in sync and to be in consonance with the local sentiments and with the local, uh, you know, uh, to respect the local culture as well. So when you launched the previous hotel in Hyderabad, it was appropriately called ITC Kakatiya, uh, you know, uh, going back to the glorious days of uh, the Kakatiya kings uh, who ruled this part of the world, this part of the country for a long period. And I'm delighted now that uh, you've chosen to bring back what was rightfully ours. You know, the Brits took away the Kohinoor, but I'm glad ITC brought it back to Hyderabad. Thank you very much for that. The other thing I wanted to point out, sir, um, you, you've uh, been kind enough to mention that Telangana has been doing well, and you pointed out to the fact that ITC is water positive, carbon positive, and also you, you, um, you were talking about your affection for uh, renewable energy when we were having a one-on-one -on -one conversation a few minutes ago. I'm happy to share with you, sir, that uh, Telangana is not only the numero uno state on production of renewable energy in the country today. Out of the 29 states, we are ranked number one, as you pointed out, on production of solar energy. We also are number one on 13 other counts, sir, which includes the fastest revenue growth for any state in India. We are also ranked number one on the ease of doing business. And we also are ranked number one on many, many other indices in health and uh, many other indices as well. I would. I do have a request for you uh, on this occasion, though I know this may or may not be the appropriate forum, but like you said, once I have you as captive audience, once I have you listening to me, I think I'll not let go of this opportunity. I'd be remiss to miss this opportunity not to put in a request. Sir, in the last four years, while we've been actively pursuing um, new investments into the state of Telangana, and we've been quite successful uh, through the TSI pass that you have kindly uh, launched for us, We've been able to attack, attract uh, more than uh, $20 billion of investment into the state in the last uh, nearly three years now. We've also been uh, giving clearances at a breakneck speed, almost 6,700 clearances in less than 15 days so far in the last three years. But um, we also have come out with some very, very interesting and novel initiatives in industry. One of the in uh, industry initiatives that I'm extremely proud of is called the Telangana State Industrial Health Clinic. Because before we pursue and before uh, we go after new investments across the globe, it's also important that we take care of our existing customers and we also uh, ensure that they not only survive but thrive. So as part of this policy, all the sick units, all the units that went sick in our state before we assumed office, we've been able to, with a great deal of uh, effort, revive some. For instance, uh, Sirpur Paper Mill, which of course is one of your competitors, we've been able to uh, revive them with the help of industry partners, with the help of the banks and with the help of financial institutions. And it's almost uh, uh, on the final leg now, it will soon be revived. Same is the case with Ramagundam Fertilizers uh, Limited. We've been able to also revive RFCL with the help of Government of India. And a couple of other cement companies as well, cement factories, which had shut shop, we've been able to revive them as well. But I do need your blessing and I do need your support on one important factory in Telangana in a, which was set up in a remote a district called Varangal, which now is part of the newly formed Bhupalpalli Jayashankar district, a unit called the BILT, Balarpur Industries Limited. If ITC as part of its uh, expansion, as ITC as part of its uh, proposed investments into Telangana, if you can take a look at the possibility of working with the state government on making a viable business proposition out of this sick industry, we will be reviving more than 2,000 plus jobs directly in the remote district in Telangana. So I do believe and I do hope with the kind of value system that you've set up as the chairman of this wonderful organization and with a wonderful top management team, you know, including Mr. Puri and Mr. Anand, I do believe that uh, the state of Telangana will uh, be benefited immensely 
if you could also look at this proposal. And once again, sir, I'm thankful also. I'm Minister for Municipal Administration and Urban Development as well. So as part of your initiative, the WOW initiative, the, the wealth out of waste or well-being out of waste, um, you've, you've continued to work with us. ITC continues to work with us uh, in various municipalities in segregation of waste and in, in, in ensuring that we also become, uh, hopefully, someday, a car carbon positive state as well. So I do request for you to continue this uh, support. And I also do want to promise you that this location where you have now unveiled Kohinoor will transform itself drastically in the next couple of years. You see a beautiful lake right next to it called Durgam Cheru, which we are trying to convert into a major, uh, you know, uh, a tourist attraction, major uh, attraction for the citizens of Hyderabad. We are building a beautiful uh, track around it. We are adding a number of other wonderful facilities around it. And then we are also building a beautiful suspension bridge along the lake, across the lake. And then you'll also have a tunnel parallelly running next to you, um, which again should also take care of the traffic concerns and the infrastructure inadequacies in this part of the town, which is growing quite rapidly, as you pointed out. So this location that you've chosen, sir, is not only wise, it is most definitely the most happening destination within Hyderabad, which is happening, uh, uh, which is a very happening city in India right now, if you ask me in terms of investments. So you've chosen wisely, and I do believe that uh, every rupee that you invest in Telangana, sir, will get you a better return on investment than anywhere in India, is what I would like to promise. Once again, thank you very much for this opportunity and honor, and I'm delighted. Uh... Absolutely, absolutely. So, ladies and gentlemen, you've seen a younger version of Sachin Tendulkar. <laughs> right. So, Honorable Minister, we have a young and dynamic managing director, Sanjeev Puri, and he has taken upon himself to take ITC forward and grow this company in its triple bottom line dimension at a rapid pace, more rapid than ever before. And he has a plan of 25,000 crores of investment in the next five years. And your suggestion will be seriously looked at by him. Thank you. Sir. And if you offer us enough incentives, Absolutely. there is no reason why we cannot take our partnership forward. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. So thank you very much for that. And uh, since Mr. Puri is going to invest 25,000 crores in the next five years, I'm your new best friend, sir, by the way. Offic officially, I'm your new best friend from now. Thank you. Before I propose the vote of thanks, may I just mention what I just said to the Honorable Minister, that ITC is already a best friend of the state and we are already best friends and that's why you see the kind of investments that we have been making in the state over the last few years and there are plans going forward too and certainly as uh, uh, Chairman just mentioned, we will uh, be happy to examine the uh, proposal that you have uh, suggested. We will look at it in full earnest and see whatever best can be done on that. As we come to the close of this special ceremony, on behalf of all of us at ITC, it is my privilege to convey our sincere thanks to the Honorable Minister for being here with us today and to inaugurate this iconic property. Sir, your presence means a lot to us. It's a source of great inspiration and encouragement to Team ITC. Thank you very much for being here with us. Not only this, I would also like to thank you for all your support in enabling this project to get completed speedily. I remember Nakul mentioning to me that when he met the Honorable Minister, all the clearances were given 
in half an hour. Thank you very much, sir. In fact, in fact, that's truly been the experience in our engagement with the state of Telangana under his leadership. And, and truly, we have experienced what we all call today ease of doing business. And that's why the state is amongst the top in the country as far as ease of doing business is concerned. And <coughs> that is why our uh, other projects also, including the manufacturing, the integrated consumer goods and manufacturing facility, is speedily getting towards completion. May I also thank all the distinguished officials from the government of the, of the state government, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, for being here with us today. Your presence means a lot to us. Thank you very much. And on this occasion, I must also compliment the the ITC Hotels project team for their tireless effort over the last few years to create ITC Koinur, which we today dedicate to the state and its people. Thank you all for all the hard work that you all have done. Once again, Honorable Minister, thank you very much for your gracious presence. Thank you very much for all the support that ITC has received in the state of Telangana. And, and we look forward to your presence in the near future when we unveil the integrated consumer goods and manufacturing facility in the near, near future. And I would like to assure you that ITC remains committed. ITC remains or will remain your best friend and will support the state's socio-economic transformation as you have envisioned. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your presence today. what ITC is doing uh, today and then I will pass it on to my colleague Nakul. He can provide you a little more uh, information about this uh, iconic property that is being uh, dedicated to the city of uh, Hyderabad and its uh, people today. So, you know, ITC uh, began its transformation journey more than two decades back and uh, over time we have made substantive progress. Let me give you a little flavor across the four key business segments that we are present in. FMCG is our largest uh, segment and today ITC is amongst the fastest growing FMCG companies. It is already in a short span of time, it is already the third largest food company. And many of our FMCG products today <coughs> are already market leaders in the segments in which they operate. And in other segments, we are either number two or number three. We have today 25 mother brands, <clears throat> most of which are created organically. And they represent already a consumer spend of 16,000 crores. As you would have heard in the past, our aspirations are very bold in this segment. And over time, we are looking at multiplying this segment manifold. The other large segment that we have is on paper, paperboard, and packaging. And 
We are proud to be associated with uh, the state of uh, Telangana, where our uh, flagship manufacturing location for the paper boat in Badrachalam is located. Besides being the largest paper board manufacturing unit, what is of pride to us is that it's the greenest, greenest paper board unit in the country. It is a leader in the high-end value-added uh, paper board segment. And this is also a, a segment in which we have continued to invest not only in augmenting capacity, but also for import substitution. We've made a large investment recently, uh, which again <clears throat> will bring back greater opportunities for the fiber source in India, which is in the form of plantations. And it is actually in the plantations that livelihoods are created. Far more livelihoods are created in plantations than in the factory itself. So just for this unit itself, for our paperboard business, we have worked with farmers in the, in the uh, command area of the unit. And a lot of uh, greening has actually been done on wastelands. And today we have uh, greened close to 700,000 acres, creating 125 million man days of employment over a period of over a period of time the third segment is our agri business segment now our agri business segment is <clears throat> a pioneer in rural transformation we empower 4 million farmers through our globally acknowledged e chopal what i will do is i will give you a little uh, as, as we have your presence today, I will give you a little perspective of uh, what ITC is doing uh, today. And then I will pass it on to my colleague Nakul. He can provide you a little more uh, information about this uh, iconic property that is being uh, dedicated to the city of uh, Hyderabad and its uh, people today. So, you know, ITC uh, began its transformation journey more than two decades back. And uh, over time, we have made substantive progress. Let me give you a little flavor across the four key business segments that we are present in. FMCG is our largest uh, segment and today ITC is amongst the fastest growing FMCG companies. It is already in a short span of time, it is already the third largest food company. And many of our FMCG products today <coughs> are already market leaders in the segments in which they operate. And in other segments, we are either number two or number three. We have today 25 mother brands, <coughs> most of which are created organically. And they represent already a consumer spend of 16,000 crores. As you would have heard in the past, our aspirations are very bold in this segment. And over time, we are looking at multiplying this segment manifold. The other large segment that we have is on paper, paperboard, and packaging. And we are proud to be associated with uh, the state of uh, Telangana, where our uh, flagship manufacturing location for the paper boat in Badrachalam is located. Besides being the largest 
paper board manufacturing unit what is of pride to us is that it's the greenest greenest paper board unit in the country it is a leader in the high end value added uh, paper board segment and this is also a, a segment in which we have continued to invest not only in augmenting capacity but also for import substitution we've made a large investment recently uh, which again <coughs> will bring back greater opportunities for the fiber source in india which is in the form of plantations and it is actually in the plantations that livelihoods are created far more livelihoods are created in plantations than in the factory itself so just for this unit itself for our paper board business we have worked with farmers in the in the uh, command area of the unit and a lot of uh, greening has actually been done on wastelands and today we have uh greened close to 700000 acres creating 125 million man days of employment over a period of over a period of time the third segment is our agri business segment now our agri business segment is <clears throat> a pioneer in rural transformation we empower 4 million farmers through our globally acknowledged e-chopal which really works with farmers on fundamentally three three things one is to transfer best practices through information and and knowledge and we supplement that by physical infrastructure what we call the chopal pradeshan kits and the second is it also enables market linkages and price discovery and third it also works with the farming community to educate them on climate resilient agriculture practices and and creating a sustainable agri value chain so three fundamental uh, pillars of engagement and over time uh, we hope that over a period of time from 4 million we will we will Uh, empower 10 million farmers over a period of time and uh, this business uh, has been doing on, on one hand it provides competitiveness to our foods business because good quality agri sourcing is is very important to the uh, and the quality of the food products that are produced on the other hand it has deep engagement with farmers as i mentioned through each opal and uh, you know our honorable prime minister has articulated the vision of uh, doubling farm incomes and as a large player in the agriculture segment uh, i think this uh, division in right earnest uh, embarked upon this journey of uh, uh, developing a model which will lead to doubling of farm incomes and it has been uh, uh, piloted in the state of uttar pradesh and in the state of bihar and i am happy to tell you it is successful we started to work with about 2 lakh farmers in the state of uttar pradesh 28000 in the state of uttar pradesh have already reported doubling of farm incomes we've got equally encouraging results in bihar and now we are working with the uh, niti ayog on the 25 aspirational districts to transfer the same information and knowledge to them to develop a scalable uh, model uh the fourth segment is our hotels we have over 100 uh, properties o- over a period of time itc has built some iconic properties like the itc grand chola and itc grand bharat and, and today we are formally dedicating the itc koinur to uh, hyderabad we've also built some iconic cuisine brands and uh, nakul is going to talk more 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 uh, about it and we do have a uh, strong pipeline in place for future as well 
all the segments that we are into are backed up with a lot of investments in research and technology, research and development. We have a large life sciences and technology center at uh, Bangalore, which has got about 350 scientists. And we already have about 750 patents. And it's there to create solutions and products for today, tomorrow, and day after. So, and 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 its its uh, investments are reflected in every business segment. So we are working on solutions for agriculture, for agroforestry, as well as creating FMCG products for today, tomorrow, and 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 uh, day after. Now. Whilst we continue to make progress in all these segments, and all these segments, I think, offer great potential to grow. You see, per capita consumptions in FMCG, and in many cases, even penetrations, are very low compared to the developed economies. So they offer enormous scale to grow. And, and we would like to create this intellectual capital represented through world-class Indian brands so that over time we are able to provide India also its own mega brands which create, capture and retain value within the country itself as against brands that are from overseas which see a flow of royalty also. Right? We want to create intellectual capital for, for the nation. And that's why most of our brands are organically built, backed up by huge investments in research and development. Similarly, paperboard and paper segments has got enormous potential to grow. Again, per capita consumption in India is much lower than the world. Agriculture is a business for the future. You know, with the growing, growing population in the world and in India, and, and we have to grow food for a growing uh, population. And as the economy is progressing in India, I think the Indian needs are also increasing. The quality of food that is required is also changing over time. So I think this is a, another segment. India attracts just about a percent of the global tourism. Right. So in each of these segments, I'm really saying they are, they are segments, businesses for the future. There is huge opportunity and ITC is committed to making, to continue to invest to ensure that each of our businesses is globally competitive and we make them future ready and to make them benefit from the opportunities that arise. And more important than that, what I wish to say is that uh, more than two decades back, when we started the transformation journey, we said to ourselves that we will conduct business in a fashion that is exemplary, in a fashion that creates, that we go beyond shareholder value to societal value. So we are going to, which translates itself into what we call the triple bottom line which is really about the financial performance, which since the transformation journey over two decades started, we have a combined uh, shareholder return of about 20, 22%. It's about environmental capital. We are as an enterprise, the only company in the world to be carbon positive, water positive, and solid waste recycling positive. I'm sure, in, in, like, like we all of us in ITC take great pride in this, and I'm sure all of you share our pride as, as an Indian company is the only company in the world to achieve this triple distinction. And in the social dimension, our value chains support 6 million livelihoods because we have chosen to innovate on business models so that what we create are inclusive, sustainable, and competitive value chains. So for example, wherever, wherever we put up our uh, 
integrated consumer goods manufacturing and logistics hubs and, and we have a plan to make 20 of them. Some of them are already operational, some have been commissioned in the recent past and you will see in the you know not so uh, distant future the one in Hyderabad also getting uh, commissioned. So within the limitations of the agri resources available within that region we try and create a integrative uh, agri value chain in the command area of the unit itself. So the agriculture community in those area also benefits not not merely through uh, providing agri resources to us but when we engage we are also able to educate them and provide them know-how which is applied for you know what they supply to others as well and it helps them improve productivity and quality and therefore better realization and better farm uh, farm incomes. So this is what uh, I, I wanted to really uh, tell you about uh, where ITC is and uh, uh, the philosophy with which we conduct uh, business. I'm going to pass it on to now to Nakul to give you a little more briefing about the hotels and then we'll be happy to address any questions that you all may have. Thank you. ITC has always been known for building hotels that are not matchbox hotels. The first brief that we give to a chain or a series of architects with whom we normally hold a design competition to represent uh, what we would like to be, uh, to be a hotel are four basic principles which, which, which define ITC hotels in many ways. First is that it must be rooted in the soil. Every ITC hotel defines the destination and that's how we differentiate ourselves. Number two, it cannot be a me-too building. It must be an original building. It's not a building that we're going to copy from somewhere. Number three, it must add value to the city or the state or the region where it is and therefore must be a landmark. And last but not the least, that it must have the highest amount of rating on an environmental front that it can. And the best that we know of is the Leeds Platinum rated um, rating that we have, which is given by the Green Building Council. It is these four that we marry together in creating a property. In creating this very property, which is the ITC Kohinoor, uh, we, we, it, it was in Hyderabad, uh, it was in Cyberabad. We decided that ITC must bring back the Kohinoor to Hyderabad, where it rightly deserves it. Uh, we modeled it around the Kohinoor. The very shape, but at the same time, we had to, if you follow one of the four principles, we had to make sure that it was environmentally absolutely friendly. Let's begin with the shape of the hotel. The angular shape of the hotel is really was, was a part of what we call in our own design was how, how to make it the most environment friendly hotel perhaps in the region in, in its time to come. Uh, the shape is such that it absorbs the maximum amount of light but not heat, right? And therefore it takes full advantage of the natural light that is. This was a shape that maximizes everything, the wind direction, the north, the east to west, the north to south, south, all taking all those into account, give us the shape of the building as to how. This shape of the building now had to be converted into the Kohinoor, and that's, that's how we chosen to take the name of it. And therefore we began to angle it at various places and sort of shape it in the form of Kohinoor. How did we bring about the Kohinoor and how do we, how do we sort, of, sort of bring it into reality is, uh, firstly, the unique structure is a reflection of the facets of the famed diamond and the cutting edge LED illumination adds luster to the imagery. Throughout the hotel, we've captured various parts of the Kohinoor uh, or of that period, etc. The peacock bar, the Kaya Kalp is, is, is inspired by what we call the Darya Noor, right, which is the river of light that is the Kohinoor sister diamond. Uh, Dampuk Begum, which really brings back, and I'll talk more about cuisine later, is the Nurilayan which is the light of the eye, which is a tribute to the princess of Hyderabad, who gave to the world the appreciation of fine things, fine dining, and therefore the restaurant has aptly been called the Begum. Uh, the radiance is captured in various other features, the brilliant chandeliers, the Zardosi work, etc. Um, throughout the hotel, you find a particular language 
uh, which is the geometric interpretation of the diamond pattern and is carried through the hotel's public areas in the form of a lap lattice. This is a diamond pattern with soft edges. Uh, and last but not the least, where we took inspiration for the colors of the room were for various jewels of the Nizam, which includes turquoise, sapphire, emerald, amber, and these are the various colors that have been used. We are proud that we have the largest rooms in the city, in fact, perhaps in the region. It's a 271-room hotel. It follows all the aspects of responsible luxury. I would pause here for a moment and just to explain to you that many years back, it was uh, when ITC embarked on its rebranding exercise. ITC was always known for environment and sustainability. That was, that was the way we only did business. And it was said in ITC that if we didn't see green, we saw red, right? So that was the only way we could do business. Now, green hotels at that time, it was felt, were, could not be luxury. You had to switch off the shower, right? You had to throttle the shower and, and sort of reduce the pressure. Sleep at 24 degrees and 21 and conserve energy. Leave a little chit in your room to say that, please don't change my bed sheets. Don't change my bath towel. But that was not all luxury, right? So we had to choose a path, we had to choose a destination. Should we be responsible in line with ITC's ethos or should we choose the luxury pattern, right? ITC chose neither, it said we will be responsible and we will be luxury, right? And we combined the two together and then created what is called responsible luxury. And today it forms a Harvard case study also as how luxury can be responsible. In fact, I, I'm, I'm proud and if I may take leave of modesty, I attended an ISB case study where this professor taught what responsible luxury was. So she walked up to the drawing board and she asked all the students on the blackboard, she said, define what you think is luxury. Each one of them said what their interpretation of luxury was, large, small, great, feeling, whatever it was. And then she one by one explained how ITC makes that luxury responsible. And therefore it was possible to convert responsibility and luxury and marry the two together. Many aspects of responsible luxury that we take and we incorporate, some of them are local love. We always encourage local food. It's two things it does. One, it gives an experience to people of the local food, which they may not want to venture into the street to have. Second, and which is most important in line with ITC's ethos, is responsibility. That since we started local love, give Hyderabadi biryani here, give Bori biryani in Bombay, give the Kathi kebab in Calcutta, or the Matya Bhuj biryani there, right? More and more people are eating this food. And therefore, the radius from which we procure our food is gradually reducing. So we see that we reduced it by as much as 40 to 50 kilometers, the procurement radius of food. Therefore, the food that you're eating has traveled less. And therefore, it has traveled less. It is less, less amount, less damage to the environment, less of a carbon footprint. That's how we feel. So here is how we have responsibly created luxury. You would not have otherwise have had such a meal. Um, green, of course, goes without saying, is a part of responsible luxury, and all the hotels are platinum rated. We believe that we sell sleep. Everything else comes secondary. You buy a hotel for the sake of sleep. Sleep is today also related to wellness and therefore a part of responsible luxury. It is our responsibility to make sure that you sleep well. And therefore the amount of research that we have done in our rooms on sleep and on all five senses. Many hotel chains claimed and said that, you know, they, they, they created the great bed, etc., etc. But man doesn't sleep by bed alone. Right? There are five different, all five senses come in. The sense of touch, the sense of sound, the shower that you've had the pressure, the scent, the touch and feel of your bed sheep, the decibel level of the sound that is coming from outside, right? the light levels that are coming, the comfort with which you can put on and put off a switch at night, etc. All this is a part of what we call good sleep. Wellness is an important part. Right? Wellness is a very, very important part of our responsible luxury. Safety. Uh, this hotel is one of our first hotels, and all our hotels will get it is radiation free. You'd be surprised at the amount of research that we did, at the amount of radiation that, that can be transmitted by cell phones such as this. This hotel, we worked very hard to make it a radiation free hotel, right? And you could be very clear wherever you're sleeping, etc. And again, there is a direct link between a radiation free hotel and sleep, and between sleep and wellness, and therefore responsible. I'd just like to sum up to say that. This is ITC, we gives you, nobody gives you India like we do, right? And our responsible luxury is inspired by the old Sanskrit saying in, in what is there, Atithi Devo Baba. So you are my guest in this hotel, and it is my responsibility to make sure of your welfare and your comfort in the highest sense. That's how nobody gives you India like we do, and we marry the two together. Open to any questions. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. ITC has invested about 
two and a half thousand crores in the state of Telangana. And in the currently, a similar sum is under underway in the form of investments. In the in the form of an integrated consumer goods manufacturing and logistics facility, which I touched upon in Hyderabad, and further capacity augmentation and further improvement in uh, 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 the efficiency of our Padrachalam paper board. So, a similar amount is in terms of investments is underway at the moment. Right. Yeah, approximately, yeah, similar amount is, is underway. And uh, I must, I think I would be failing in my duty if I did not take this opportunity to acknowledge the support that we receive from the government here. And I think um, we are not surprised that the government ranks uh, right amongst the top as far as ease of doing business is concerned. Uh, I'm told by my colleague that the Honorable Minister KT Ramarauji actually gave all the approvals for the hotels in about, I think, 30 minutes. Yeah, this was the heritage one on which we were stuck in. But then half now he SMS me back that your approval is through. So that's that's what I think uh, is, is really required to give impetus to investment. And uh, I think all this creates a virtuous cycle. So we, we are uh, uh, extremely delighted to have the opportunity to make increasing contribution in the state of Telangana. And our footprint in the state of Telangana is in all the three sectors of the economy, agriculture, manufacturing and services, really represents our entire portfolio of businesses are represented in Telangana. And we have a growing footprint.